listen everybody to the word I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospel Light Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is report number 362. My name is Daniel White III, here to remind you that Jesus Christ is coming back one day soon and that you need to be prepared. This broadcast podcast is not about predictions nor is it about setting dates as some foolishly have done in the past. However, it is all about preparation. First today, let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. You might recall the disciples asked Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world. Looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. First up today, according to CNN, Ukraine's interim president, who happens to be a Baptist preacher, announced plans to bolster his country's military following a referendum in which over 90% of Crimeans voted to join Russia. He said Ukraine will never accept the territory's annexation by Russia. The United States and European Union also announced sanctions including asset freezes and travel bans on officials from Russia and Ukraine. Having failed to prevent the referendum, the Obama administration and its European allies have refocused their efforts on keeping Moscow from annexing the autonomous Ukrainian region and expanding its military moves into other parts of Ukraine. Second today, according to the Associated Press, Iran's foreign minister says his country does not expect to cement a final deal in the coming round of nuclear talks with world powers. Mohammed Zarif spoke to reporters on Sunday saying we don't expect to reach a deal in this round of talks. We have agreed to discuss a number of issues in this round. Zarif and Tehran and world powers will discuss dimensions of Iran's nuclear activities like uranium enrichment, uh, a heavy water reactor, as well as sanctions in the Tuesday and Wednesday talks to Vienna. Third, today, according to Reuters, China warned the Philippines on Monday to abandon a disputed shoal in the South China Sea after Manila said it planned to challenge a Chinese naval blockade 
of the area by sending supplies to its troops stationed there. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson said China is on high alert for the, Philipp the Philippines, possibly taking more provocative acts in the South China Sea. The Philippines must accept responsibility for the consequences of what will happen. The second Thomas Shoal, a strategic gateway to an area believed to be rich in oil and natural gas, is one of several possible maritime flashpoints that could prompt the United States to intervene in defense of Asian allies troubled by increasingly assertive Chinese maritime claims. And then fourthly tonight, a 4.4 earthquake struck in California today. Uh, I will give you more information about this on another broadcast, uh, but many believe that this is just a warning for a greater earthquake to come in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Matthew 25:13, Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. You can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now it is time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics of prophecy, the second coming of Christ, and what will happen in the future according to the Bible. Our aim here is not to make predictions, but to help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold in the end times. Our topic for today is titled, Two Second Comings or One, Part 3 from Dr. Tim LaHaye's book, Understanding Bible Prophecy for Yourself. The second phase of the Lord's second coming is the public appearance of Christ to this earth when he is accompanied with power and great glory as well as the angels of heaven. At that time, he will set up his earthly kingdom. We call this the glorious appearing of Christ. At that time, every eye will see him, and those who rejected him will mourn because they will finally realize who he really is and that it is now too late to accept him by faith as Lord and Savior. The overwhelming number of references to the second coming in both of the Old and New Testaments have to do with this phase of our Lord's coming. Only a few references describe his coming for his church or the rapture. So we see that there are not two comings of Christ, but rather there are two phases of his one coming. The first phase is for Christians, and the second phase is for the world of unbelievers as well, as those believers who received Christ as Savior and Lord and survived the awful persecution of the tribulation. These people will enter into the millennial kingdom in their natural bodies, and it is they who will populate the earth during the kingdom age. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Lord should tarry his coming and we live, we will continue looking at this topic in our next broadcast slash podcast. In closing today, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming. Jesus Christ said in Luke 19.13 to occupy till I come. In other words, God does not want us to sit down waiting on Jesus. He wants us to serve him and to work for him, to pray to him, to witness to others, to do everything we can to see others come to know him as Savior until he comes. Jesus Christ warned us that in the end times, false prophets would arise who would deceive many. In light of that, please listen to the following from Dr. David Reagan of Lamb and Lion Ministries on how to recognize false prophets. A question we must ask of anyone who claims to be a prophet is, does the prophet deliver only positive messages? 
If the prophet never issues a call for repentance, he is to be suspect. Jeremiah twenty three sixteen through seventeen says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say, Still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace, and they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. Again, if the Lord should tarry his coming, and if we live, we will continue looking at this topic in our next broadcast podcast. Let's pray together. Holy Father God in heaven, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you and we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your love, your mercy and grace with us, your long-suffering with us. As your Christian people, we come before you with our sins, asking you to forgive us of our sins, our failures, and our faults. Lord, uh, help everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, to love your appearing and to love it so much to try to get others to love it as well by leading them to you. Lord, uh, revive us again and help us to be the witnesses, the soul winners that you want us to be. Lord, help us to at least present the gospel in some way to others who don't know you, even the hard cases. Open blinded eyes, unstop deaf ears, and save their souls, and uh, let your will be done in our lives until we see you one day. Glorify your holy name through our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Remember, dear friend, the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready for the return of Jesus Christ, may I encourage you to get ready, get ready, get ready today by receiving him as your Lord and Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today to save your soul, and he will do it. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or are looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, and Radio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now, here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your business straight.